Imagine walking through Whole Foods and seeing all of your favorite products lie on the shelves. It's going to be a great grocery shop. Now imagine that you find out that your favorite local kombucha company mentions that you can invest in them by becoming a co-owner. Your grocery shop just got a whole lot more exciting. Product-based companies that sell directly to consumers are often a natural fit for equity crowdfunding. Their products are usually very relatable and easy for potential investors to understand. And their past and present customers, who are already big supporters of the company, can now take the next step by becoming co-owners, so they already have a big community to reach out to. But what if you're a service-based business, or you sell to other businesses rather than consumers, or maybe you don't have a product that's even on the market yet? Well, one of the strongest tools for any company can be leveraging your professional and personal networks to build momentum for your campaign. Whether you're aware of it or not, you already have a large community of people who are already championing you and your business. Think about your amazing team and your dedicated employees, your advisors, your family, your friends, your coworkers from before you became an entrepreneur, your university classmates, or the couple you met while traveling on vacation last year. There are so many people in your network that are eager to champion you and your business, whether through an investment or by sharing the opportunity with people that they know who might be interested. Activating your network and your network's network is one of the most important elements of successful equity crowdfunding campaigns. And think of that successful campaign like a puzzle. The first piece is activating your network and the second piece is activating your network's network. And the third piece is finding new networks of interested investors. Without one of those pieces and without those pieces in the right order, you usually can't solve the puzzle of a successful campaign. But that's why we're here to provide a roadmap and talk you through how to line up the first puzzle piece. We know from experience that asking for an investment from those closest to you can sometimes feel a little awkward. Instead of focusing on your hesitations, plan to set your network abuzz with the problem your business is solving. A study from Case Western University found that an entrepreneur's enthusiasm in their pitch could result in a 26% increase in the financial backing they received from investors. So prepare your elevator pitch and get ready to start sharing your vision with your network. Something you'll find with most crowdfunding platforms around the world is that they have a threshold that companies need to reach before they publicly list on their website. This is generally 20-50% to 50 of the company's funding target that needs to be raised through an exclusive private link. The objective of this private link phase is to build momentum in a company's immediate network so that when they go live on the platform there's already traction which becomes the social proof element that other investors need to make their investment decision. Let's say it's Friday night and you decide to go for dinner after work. You're walking down the street and there are two options. Restaurant one is lively and full of people smiling and enjoying their food, whereas restaurant two is empty and has a big open sign but no one's there. The second restaurant could have excellent food, maybe it's even better than the first restaurant, but because no one else is there, you might assume that it's not a good spot to go for dinner. The same concept applies to equity crowdfunding. If you invite people to invest but no one else is investing, they may think it's not the best opportunity. So instead, equity crowdfunding platforms want to encourage social proof. When you go live to their network and to the general public, there's a passionate community of brand champions who've already invested in the business. Going back to our example, imagine you're now the owner and it's your restaurant's opening night. You invite all of your friends and family so that when you open for service, people in the community and those walking by can't help but stop and wonder why the restaurant looks so popular. They decide to see if a table's available and then you blow them away with the amazing meal you serve. We have great news for you when it comes to converting your network. You already have an established relationship with them. You are talking to the people that you know well and that know you well. So you can reach out to them through channels that you already use to communicate. Do you keep in touch with an aunt over the phone? Do you talk to an old professor via email? Or are you messaging an old friend from the other side of the country on Instagram? In our experience, we find that it works best to engage your personal and professional network through email, phone, or by LinkedIn, or even by grabbing a coffee if you don't feel the need to limit yourself to those mediums. And since these are people that you know, make sure to be personal and thoughtful with your communications. This is not the time for a mass email. If you're sending emails, send it to one person at a time and follow our seven steps for a great email pitch. One, have an introduction that speaks to your relationship. Two, give an elevator pitch for your business. Three, highlight your company's traction, any awards, media, new products, launches, etc. Four, announce your equity crowdfunding campaign and explain what it means if needed. Five, have a strong call to action to invest and a link to the campaign page included. A QR code can be great. Six, attach your pitch deck to the email. And seven, let them know how to get in touch with you again. On LinkedIn, you can send a message through InMail with a direct ask for investment or with an indirect ask to share your campaign with anyone else in their network who may be interested. When engaging your network on LinkedIn, you want to be friendly, casual, and you want to stay away from spamming your connections. Remember, these are professional contacts and you want to build trust with them. Once you've converted all of your network, we want to also activate their network. 
Maybe your cousin has a friend who works in tech and would love your product. Maybe your older coworker's partner works in investment banking. Maybe your friend has an influencer with 6,000 followers who may be interested in investing in your company. Having a network of supporters who help you amplify your company is a great way to capture attention beyond your immediate network. One of the strategies that we've seen work very well for our campaigns in the past is to engage their advisors in an online webinar that can be an interview or more of a fireside chat. Advisors for a business are generally well-connected and well-respected in their field, and they typically have large circles of professional connections, so their endorsement or their involvement with the campaign pr promotion can carry a great deal of influence, especially on LinkedIn. A great example of this is when Frontlander alumni Kerry had their advisor Peggy Van De Plash host interviews with their CEO, John McKinley, and other key team members. It was a great way to leverage everyone's LinkedIn networks in an engaging and collaborative way that lended more credibility to the company and their offering. Some of your advisors may not be able to commit time to an interview and that's okay too. Asking your professional contacts to share news about your campaign and upcoming events can be another great strategy to gain visibility with their online networks and help get you in front of an entirely new audience. Once you've activated your network and your network's network, you have two of the three main pieces to the puzzle in place for a successful campaign. Now it's time to find that new network of interested investors. What we've learned over the years is that people invest in people. So whether it's your network or your network's network or a new network, remember that relationships are at the heart of finding and converting investors for your business.